Hi, I'm Harsha Sanku, a Partner Solutions Architect with AWS. In this session, we are going to take a look at how to protect your vSphere workloads that are residing on VMware Cloud on AWS using the AWS Backup Service. The AWS Backup Service is a fully managed, centralized, automated service that enables data protection across your AWS and VMware Cloud on AWS workloads. Let's begin by taking a look at the account structure. What you see here is a VMware AWS account, which is also referred to as a shadow account. This is completely owned and managed by VMware. Now in this account, you have something called a VPC, also designated as a shadow VPC, which acts as a network underlay. Now in this VPC, you have the VMware Cloud on AWS SGDC that is deployed, which includes one or more compute segments that sit behind the compute gateway and one management segment that runs the management workloads behind the management gateway called as the MGW. And then you have a T0 router, which is also called as the NSXT edge that facilitates all of the north-south traffic that leaves and enters the SGDC. On the other hand side, you have the customer AWS account, which is completely owned and managed by the customer. And one of these VPCs in the account is designated as the connected VPC. When you deploy VMware Cloud on AWS HTDC, what it essentially does is it creates a few elastic network interfaces, also called as ENIs, in the designated connected VPC. Now, one of these many ENIs is going to be designated as the active ENI that helps facilitating all of the traffic communication between the AWS environment and the VMware Cloud on AWS environment. So what it enables is the workloads that are sitting here inside the STDC can now establish communication with the connected VPC and all of the native AWS services that reside in the customer AWS account. Now one of such AWS native service is called the AWS backup service using which we can protect workloads that are sitting on VMware Cloud on AWS. Now to begin doing that, you deploy something called Backup Gateway Appliance, which is essentially a VMware OVA file that you install in one of these compute segments behind the compute gateway. This could be an existing compute segment, or it could be a compute segment that stands on its own. Now, once you have the AWS Backup Gateway Appliance deployed, you create something called as the AWS Backup Gateway VPC endpoint. Now this establishes the communication between the AWS Backup Service and the AWS Backup Gateway Appliance, which basically acts as a backup proxy that ends up relaying all of the information from the VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC environment to, to the AWS Backup Service that is aided by the management plane and the storage plane. Now, once you have this set up, you create something called as a backup plan, which is basically defines the backup frequency and the backup retention period, which is how long do you want to keep the data and how, how often do you want to take snapshots of the data. Once you have the backup plan defined, you create something called as a backup vault. The backup vault is essentially a container that stores and organizes all of your data. You could have the backup vault created close to the VMware Cloud on AWS in the same AWS region, or you could have it in a completely different AWS region. Alternatively, for highly critical workloads, you could create a secondary backup vault in a different AWS region, so that now you have two copies of the same data. Now, once you've created backup plans and the backup vault, you can perform your backup and restore operations. You could perform an on-demand backup using a click of a button, or you could rely on the backup plan to perform automated backups based on the frequency that you've defined as part of the backup plan. I hope that gave you a sneak peek into how to protect vSphere workloads sitting on the VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC using the AWS backup service. I'd like to thank you for your time. See you under the next one.